Hello, it's Lewis here from A-Level Physics Online and the advanced information has now been released for the A-Level Physics exams coming up in summer 2022. Now the first thing is I would say it is worth going to your exam board website to download the full document, print it off, keep it in your folder and that's going to help you structure your revision. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about how to find that information, I'm going to talk about what the advanced information actually means in practice and also I'm going to do a quick summary for all of the main exam boards in England. So that's going to be AQA, OCR Specification A and also Edexcel. I'm just going to do a quick run through of some of the topics which are likely to come up for the higher mark questions. First of all, how to find the stuff? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Go to your exam board website. So for example, you can easily find the AQA website and they've made it really easy. Uh, on the front page where it says find out more, um, there's advanced information available now. You can then simply find your subject. So let's maybe choose A level and then we're going to be choosing uh, physics. When you find it, it then has a couple of documents that you can download. Uh, so you can just download it. There we go. Pretty straightforward, nice and easy. Now with OCR, again, from the front page, there's links there to this advanced information. And what there is just further down the page is this advanced information finder. Just like AQA, you can choose the qualification. In this case, we're going to go for A-level. And then again, we're going to search for the course. Now here, 156 is AS level and 556 is the full A level and a few people might be doing OCR Physics B uh, either 157 for AS or 557 for the full A level but if I was to click Physics A 556 it brings up a document which once again it downloads you can print it off and then you can view that. The other one that we have here is Pearson Edexcel I found this one a little bit more tricky to use because you couldn't just, or I, I couldn't find a way to just download what I needed. But if you go to summer 2022 support, you'll then find that there's advanced information. And when you click on that link, uh, it will download a massive zipped folder. And then you can find the physics or whichever subject you need information within that. So advanced information, go to the exam board website and that will have everything that you need to know about. But in summary, this is what you need to know about. Firstly, the structure and the format of the papers is going to be remaining unchanged. It's going to be the same as all the past papers that you're working through from 2018, 2019 and 2020 and so on. Secondly, there will still be assessment of your practical skills and your mathematical skills throughout the paper. So you need to know about things like percentage uncertainty, the absolute uncertainty, how you deal with anomalous data and so on. All good standard physics things. The third point is that when the topics are listed, they are given in rank order, and the topic given at the top is going to be the one which is going to be worth the most marks for the questions in the exam. Uh, so basically, they go from highest down to the lowest number of marks in that list, but this is what's really important, okay, and I cannot stress this enough. Although the topics are listed, there will be questions from across the entire specification, everything that you've been taught for A-level. Now, a lot of these things which haven't been listed on this document, they might appear in multiple choice questions. They might appear in low mark or low tariff questions, as the exam board call it. Or there might also be these synoptic questions which bring lots of things together. So my advice is if you're wanting to get the highest grade that you possibly can, if you're wanting to get the highest grades to get into your university of choice, then you need to be revising everything across the entire course because although there might be only these small low mark questions, there's going to be loads and loads of them in total across the whole paper. And finally, um, and it does say this here by the exam boards, you should still be covering in school, you should be being taught and you should still be learning everything that comes up in that specification. But it is worth making sure that the topics in the list are the ones that you particularly revise. So what I'm now going to do is go through uh, some of the topics identified by AQA, by OCRA and Edexcel. Now you can skip forward in the video, I've put some timestamps just beneath. Uh, don't forget of course if you're using this video on YouTube then you can also subscribe to me at Physics Online and also you can head over to TikTok where I'm doing loads of tiktok -y stuff, shorter videos and so on. So you can find me there as well. But let, yeah basically skip forward to the things that you need. So we're going to start with AQA AS level physics for students in year 12 who might be doing these exams. The first one is for paper one. 
there are these four fairly broad areas. You've got EM radiation and quantum physics. You've got force, energy and momentum. Again, that's a massive topic, as is current electricity, as is particles. So looking at the major focus of the exam, it seems to be pretty much you just need to learn everything. For paper two, though, um, these are the topics that you need to look at. And again, you can pause this video and obviously you will have hopefully downloaded the official copy by now. Um, you do need to know about G by freefall. Uh, that's where something is dropped. And then by measuring maybe the time of flight over a certain distance, you can work out the gravitational field strength. And also you need to look at how you can measure or investigate the resistivity of a wire. Okay, for you year 13 students, this is where it's going to get serious. And most people in the UK are going to be doing AQA physics. So when you do paper one, again, there's a broad focus for the first exam. But you can see that the high, that the high marks are going to come from the questions about particles, force energy and momentum, electricity, periodic motion, EM radiation and quantum. So I would say that pretty much covers everything that you've taught, been taught so far. For paper two, uh, these are the areas. And again, you can pause the video if you want to just uh, spend a bit more time looking at this. I know you're going to become very familiar with this over the coming months. For paper three, for the first part, everybody's going to be doing the same paper. And you need to know about Boyle's law and Charles's law. So looking at some of these gas experiments, then you'll also need to know about the resistivity of a wire and how that can be investigated, and also the way that you can measure the young modulus of a material. Two main ways of doing that, you can get a wire and stretch it across a table, or you can have two wires and then one of them uh, stretches next to the other with a vernier scale. So they're the kind of practical skills that you need to know about. Now when it comes to the options, again, depending which ones you're doing, um, these are the focus for astro, if you're doing the stuff about space, if you're doing the medical physics module, uh, sensitivity and frequency response, absorption of x-rays and so on, they're the kind of things which are going to give you those higher marks. For engineering, rotational kinetic energy. But again, if you're going to be asked about rotational kinetic energy, there's going to be so much about rotation that you need to be aware of and all the kind of stuff to do with rotational dynamics. Again, we've got engine cycles and reversed heat engines, that kind of back to front fridge. When you've got turning points, a big popular option, uh, Millikan's determination of the electronic charge E. I did a video about that years ago that's become really popular. Uh, significance of Young's double slit and then mass and energy. And again, I've got videos that support all of this over at A-Level Physics Online. And for the few people who are actually doing electronics, there's probably about 10 of you around the country, uh, inverting amps, uh, combination logic, uh, AM and FM techniques. Uh, so that's basically the stuff that you need to be revising. Now, don't forget, if you are an A-level student in year 13, you should buy my premium plan, unless, of course, your school already subscribes. You can do that over A-level physics online. It's a one-off payment. It's only £19.99. It gives you access to everything on that website, including hundreds and hundreds of additional videos supporting all of this content you're going to be assessed on in year 13. Okay, OCR A students, uh, we, I'm just going to talk now about what's coming up in the AS physics exams. So first of all, if you're in year 12 and you're doing paper one, this is going to be the major focus. And as from what I can see with paper one, the fact you have to revise all of ways and quantum physics, energy, motion, electrical circuits, Newton's laws and materials. I mean, that's pretty much everything you need to revise anyway. So I would say uh, when it comes to looking at the practical skills, it's hard to know exactly which practical they might be asking about, but there's quite a few practicals from the waves part of the course. Okay, so maybe have a look at some of the videos that I've made over at A-Level Physics Online to help you see maybe some of the practicals that you might not have carried out in school. For paper two, um, a lot less in the list actually, forces in action, motion and waves. Although by the time you do paper two, you will have revised everything for paper one and your physics knowledge is going to be so much greater than it is at the moment. For those doing the full uh, year 13 set of exams, papers one, two and three, this is what you need to know about. So first of all, for paper one, uh, the major focus is going to be a load of astro and cosmology, which I think is a really interesting uh, topic. In terms of practical skills, I'm not quite sure what that might entail. Um, then we've got thermal physics, forces in action and materials, and then a bit of oscillations as well. Don't forget, of course, you still have to revise everything, but this is where you need to focus your revision. For those of you, or obviously after that, you're then going to be doing paper two. 
And again, they've given you a broad range of topics here. And again, when it says waves, that is a large topic. So for paper two, loads of questions about waves, about nuclear and particle physics, medical, quantum, uh, electromagnetism, capacitors, electric fields, basically the whole of A-level physics, as far as I can see. Uh, but again, make sure that you're using this to focus your revision. And when it comes to paper three, Again, waves, oscillations, capacitors, nuclear and particle physics. By the time you've done papers one and two, your level of physics knowledge is going to be really high and you'll have covered plenty of that material by the time you go into doing paper three. And of course, like I said earlier in the video for the AQA students, if you want to find videos that support everything here, you can sign up to the premium plan at alevelphysicsonline.com. It's £19.99. It's a one-off payment, you won't be charged again, and it will give you full access to everything when you really need it. When it's 11 o'clock at night, when it's two o'clock in the morning, when your teachers can't be contactable because it's the weekend, you can still see me as a qualified teacher explaining the physics to you. And finally, uh, I'm gonna go through some stuff for Edexcel. So if you're in year 12, you're doing Edexcel AS Physics, this is what's gonna come up in paper one. Now they've been quite specific with their advice, actually probably better and more uh, detailed than some of the other exam boards like AQA and OCR. They've given you the topic and also um, the parts, so like 9 to 16, 31 to 38 and so on. So this is what you need to know about. So motion and vectors, current, PD, resistance and circuits, resistivity, potential dividers, everybody loves one of those, Newton's laws, work energy and efficiency and moments. So there's a huge amount there that you need to revise. When it comes to paper two, you need to know about uh, the young modulus. Again, that's measuring it perhaps using a wire across the table, or maybe you've got a hanging wire and then you use a vernier scale to look at that small deflection. And it says here, um, the ones which have an asterisk on this thing here, topics in which topic one working as a physicist make a significant contribution to the assessment. So basically I, th I see there's gonna be lots of practical kind of questions there about how to plan and carry out an investigation. And it's the same when it comes to density and Stokes' law. And again, I've got videos about all of this. I've got a video where I explain about Stokes' law and how you can use that to measure the viscosity or investigate the viscosity of a liquid. Then there's diffraction, lenses, Paul Secco technique, wave particle duality. And don't forget, you still need to be revising everything that you've covered in year 12. If you're in year 13 and you are doing Edexcel A-level physics, then these are the topics coming up. So for paper one, uh, there's quite a lot here. Uh, particle interactions, resistivity, momentum, work done, uh, graphical representation of motion, which is you know distance time graph and velocity time graph, so maybe even an acceleration time graph. And then, uh, yeah, particle accelerators, magnetic fields, and so on. So that is your list of topics that you really need to find as many past papers as possible about. When it comes to paper two, radioactive decay is right at the top, followed by the photoelectric effect and spectra. So all the stuff that you will have hopefully seen at some point. And then as you go into paper three, um, there's a lot of graphical analysis of data. Uh, so that might be drawing a graph. It might be, well, probably maybe plotting a couple of points, maybe putting in a line of best fit, maybe even the worst acceptable line of best fit, maybe looking at uncertainties. Who knows? Uh, but all of this stuff you need to know about. And I would say that um, this is something that I have supported, again, with videos over at A-Level Physics Online. So if there's anything here that you're not quite sure about, it might have been something you were taught in lockdown, it might have been something that you had to be taught remotely, uh, or maybe you weren't in those lessons in school for whatever reason, and maybe you're still a bit unsure about some of these topics, you can head over to alevelphysicsonline.com you can buy a premium plan, it's just £19.99. You then get instant access whenever you need it to all of these extra videos. I've got hundreds there to help support you whenever you need it. So if it's the middle of the night and you're revising, there's stuff there that I can do to help you understand this course. So that is the advanced information for AS and A-level physics. I'm afraid I haven't done it for all of the possible combinations, uh, including people who might be studying abroad, people doing EDUCAS and OCRB, but I've done it for the main ones. Um, I don't know if it's gonna really help you. Uh, I think everybody has to still continue by revising the entire course. So don't leave anything unrevised, but make sure when it does come to your revision, you find as many past papers on these topics as possible. And also, you know, focus your revision there so you can get all the marks that you need. 
Um, apart from that, I'll be around plenty more over the next few months doing some live streams, making more things and resources to help you. So make sure if you haven't already done so, that you follow me over at TikTok at Physics Online. You subscribe to me here on YouTube at Physics Online. And also, if you're in year 12 or year 13, consider buying a premium plan. It's only £19.99. It's pretty inexpensive, but it can help you so much prepare for all of your exams coming up. Thank you.